Today I can finally buy the Red Soul Selection 1. And I'm gonna do my first fusion to have the first Immortal Soul on my account. I chose the combo one because I am an archer class and so this is gonna help me a lot. There for now I have some boss damage bonus and thanks to that one I'm gonna have some extra combo. And I should obtain that one with both combo damage and boss damage. And I'm gonna have a huge damage increase by the way because I had only the yellow combo one before. So the red one is gonna give to me a huge combo in comparison. But before doing the fusion, there is something I want to know, really important. I have that one if I decide to upgrade it. This is the increase I'm going to have, 31% every level. So I'm curious to know if it is going to be the same with the immortal ones. And apparently the immortal soul I'm going to have is going to have a three stats. The two of my red souls, so I'm gonna have some combo damage and boss damage as written in there, but apparently there is gonna be another random stat. And the random effect can have three different qualities, and in the future apparently I'm gonna be able to fuse it again with an original soul to change the random effect. And if I use my level 6 red soul, it's gonna increase the level of the fused one. So let's confirm the fusion and I'm going to obtain that one with a random stat as well and level 6. Confirm the fusion and I got some extra healing effect. And I still have a 31% increase on the combo. So this is the equivalent of the, the red ones. But I have two stats instead of one and I have that extra effect. It's not going to change anything for me though to have some extra healing. 0.06% it's absurd. And I don't know what it means, by the way, mythic, is it the quality of my substat? For now, I don't know what quality we can obtain, so I don't know if it is a good one, but yeah, look at that, this is clearly not really efficient, but still another stat. So before I was using that one, look at that, level 17, and it was giving to me 552%, level 17. So I spent a ton of essence inside. So I'm gonna remove it. And salvage it to get back the resources. Look at that. I spent 13k and a half essence in that. And look at that. There we go. I have the same stats as the yellow one when it was level 17. And I can upgrade it even higher. Look at that. Level 15, now I have 200% more combo damage and I have 68% boss damage with only one Immortal Soul. This is so great. And now I can add some combo, some counter damage, but I have no counter at all, so it's not gonna do anything to my account. And I wanna try something, by the way. I'm gonna reset that and upgrade that one a bit higher. So level 20, apparently you can upgrade it over the level 20. I don't know what is the max level though. But I don't have enough essence to try to upgrade it to the maximum. So I'm gonna upgrade again the others to have a few extra stats. And there we go, these are my souls now. And if I check my stats now, oh what the hell is that? Look at that! I almost have a 5000 person combo multiplier. I have a 96% and a half combo and 40% crit rate. Imagine the damage I'm gonna do with that. But I don't have a high attack though, so I can increase that in the future and get more stats as well. So I was stuck on that boss, let's try to see if it does make a difference. He's taking so much damage. He attacked me only once. Just because of that soul. This is crazy, the efficiency of the soul. So the family brawl is really, really important. You can get that soul selection one inside of it to get some basic attack, combo, counter, crit damage, crit res, attack, defense, or HP red souls for 10,000. So even if you are not victorious, it should take around three weeks to obtain one red soul in a family brawl. And you can get the Red Soul Selection 2 in the cross server ranked match. And inside you can select one of these, Pal Crit Damage, Skill Damage, Pal Damage, Healing, Boss Damage, HP Regen, Skill Crit Damage, or Boss Damage Resistance. But it's gonna cost 4000 medals. And first, concentrate on that, it's better to awaken your class. So depending on your ranking, you can get maybe around 1,200 medals a week. So probably every 3-4 weeks, depending on your ranking, you are going to be able to buy one. 
And for now, the souls are the best way to power up your account. So guys, that was all for that video, another short one. Hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.